Last month, crews cleared thousands of pounds of trash along Green River Road in unincorporated King County. It was not an official sweep, so most of the RVs and homeless came right back. And for now, they're being allowed to stay. This is what it looked like Thursday night. And I noticed some new people here as well. Some new people have come by. But Holly Morales says this time around, she's pleasantly surprised King County is accommodating the campers with this. Uh-huh. I see a toilet. She lives in an RV and says for the first time at this location. We roll the toilet paper and then these things you put in here. County crews handed out toilet buckets and mini pop-up tents for privacy. Pop-up pod. I've been unable to confirm if the county is actually giving out these supplies since no one from Executive Dow Constantine's office or the King County Regional Homelessness Authority returned my request for comment. But the county website does give instructions on how to use a pail as a toilet during an emergency. The water source for homes around here and their wells is contaminated because of the feces. Either way, this is not what most neighbors wanted. They say this will enable the people here to stay even longer. And there are now questions about where all this waste is going to go. That letting this continue the way it is, is not humane. Even with loosening COVID protocols, King County is still operating under guidance from the health department that says encampments should not be removed during a pandemic. And they keep citing recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But the last update on that agency's website was in February. So it's unclear when there will be any real progress on Green River Road. Councilmember Reagan Dunn's homeless encampment removal legislation is still winding its way through the full council. We will never solve this problem. It will only get worse if we don't have this comprehensive solution to this set of problems. Meanwhile, outreach workers spent weeks trying to convince people to get off the streets and accept shelter before this cleanup, but many refused, including Morales. Not even tiny houses or anything like that. They said, she said there's no resources. So people, they need to stop telling people that they're going to put us in housing and all that because there's none. She says for now they're staying hunkered down and the bucket toilets are better than nothing.